Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I have another unboxing from the Wild Hair Kit and I'm just going to say right off the get go, sorry if you can hear a fan in the background. I've had some people comment recently that they want me to slow down in my videos. However, what you don't know behind the scenes is that I live in Central Valley in California. It is super hot. I have no air conditioning this summer and so I have to shut down all the fans to record videos and I die. So I'm trying to rush to get done with the video before I sweat to death and so we're just going to leave the fan on today. So sorry about that. <laughs> but all that to say, we are unboxing my September kit from the Wild Hair Kits. Now if you didn't know, I am a part of their design team and they are so, so awesome. I fell in love with them through Instagram and had to join them and play with their products. And so what the Wild Hair Kits is, is if you're not familiar, it is a hand curated kit um, full of paper crafting goodies. And so what that means is if you're somebody who loves to paper craft, you love to Bible journal, you love to scrapbook, traveler's notebook, pocket page, whatever it might be, um, but you don't have the time or maybe the resources or the stores to go to to do your own shopping, or maybe you're like me and you're not very good at styling things and picking out products from different lines, um, this company is perfect for you. So you send in a uh, style profile um, answering some questions and I'll share, you, share with you what I did this month. Um, and then Allison from the Wild Hair Kits puts together and hand curates a kit for you based off of your responses. So you have your choice of a deluxe kit or a petite kit. I will have all of that information down below for you guys so you can check out the pricing and all that goodness. Um, this month I got another deluxe kit and I have a whole lot of things to document for the month of August. This is my September kit but I'm documenting photos from August. So. She jam-packed this full of amazing awesomeness. So I will have the Wild Hair Kits linked down below. You can go check them out and check out um, the whole process for ordering and all that goodness. Be sure to follow their blog. Um, there is a new team of us ladies, and we all have different styles, different likes, different not likes, just all kinds of funness. So you get to kind of see uh, some different projects and ways of working and you know color schemes and all that goodness so be sure to follow over on the blog I will be over there at least twice a month um, and my goal my unmentioned goal has been to have travelers notebook process videos on my YouTube channel every Wednesday so I'm not full-on committing to that yet but that's kind of been my tentative goal and so I have several videos using last month's kit from wild hair kits but so I'm excited to dive in now I got the deluxe kit last month as well and I have tons of product left over still that I can bring in and mush together with this and document all of my photos, but I'm sure I will have plenty in this kit also. So let me kind of talk to you about the style profile and what I sent to Allison, so then you can kind of have an understanding of what she went off when she put together this kit. And you can just see, how truly talented she is. So um, with this questionnaire, I kind of went over it last month, so you can check out that unboxing video. I'll link it down below. Um, I'm just gonna hit the highlights for this month. So I continue to mention that my favorite manufacturers are Maggie Holmes, Illustrated Faith, Felicity Jane, and Pink Paisley. Those are the ones that kind of every line that they come out with, I just adore. Their color schemes, their style, are just things that kind of work for me. And so that kind of gives the team an idea um, of what products to pick based off that. Um, I'm a traveler's notebook crafter. I also work in Bible journaling. Um, if you're not familiar with that, I have plenty of videos on my channel. You can check that out. So these are products I can use for both of those. I craft daily. And then here in this area, she says, tell us about some types of projects you have coming up. Um, this will help us find that snazzy piece to make your heart go pitter patter. So I put in there that I'll be documenting tons of stuff and such a variety of stuff this month and she did perfect. So I'll be documenting family photos from my stepsister's wedding. The wedding was boho themed but most of the photos are family group shots and not necessarily photos of the wedding. So I don't have a whole bunch of like bridal photos and all that kind of stuff. Um, there was family that I had never even met before that I got to see and so we have a lot of group um, photos of everybody from the wedding day. So that'll kind of be what I'm documenting. So I didn't want your traditional like wedding um, paper crafting supplies necessarily and she got it right. Um, my sister and I had a color run marathon that we would be running. We've already ran it but at this point I hadn't yet and it was unicorn themed. Um, my kiddos started back to school. 
I have a, a family reunion and a whole mishmash of other photos throughout the month. So you can see I had boho themed, unicorn, back to school, family reunion. I mean, you name it. There was all kinds of things that I listed in there and I thought it was going to be pretty challenging, but Allison was amazing. So she sent... Um, you get a printout of everything that's included in your kit and then a little note from her says I hope you love your kit I included some Maggie Holmes bits this time and sent you a brand new product for us the opaque pens I'm very curious to hear your thoughts I also sent a versatile stencil our September cut file and even a couple of unicorns and when she said that in my mind I was thinking like super bright like little kid style unicorns, which are the unicorns that we dressed up as. <laughs> so stay tuned for those photos. And we're a part of the whole theme of the color run, but I love how she did a nod to the unicorn theme. Wait till you see it. So um, let's take a look at everything that was included in the kit. This will be a little bit longer of a video because there's just so much product and I want to talk about it. So um, here is that new product she mentioned. This is the um, paint like ink for dark and light paper markers from Creative Devotion. The Creative Devotion line from American Crafts is kind of geared towards faith journaling and Bible journaling. Um, and so the products are kind of meant for that. However, you can use these for your traveler's notebook, your scrapbooking, you name it. So I'm very curious to see how these perform in my Bible journaling. Even if they bleed through, no big deal. I can still use them um, in my other products. So they look, or projects. So they look like a fine point pen. And I love that the colors are colors that are kind of my go-to, that mint or light blue, pink, gold. Um, that's always, that's like my favorite color palette. And so these will be ones that I can use quite a bit. You've got white and black also. So can't wait to try those out and maybe use those for some journaling and things like that. Uh, she also included this little glassine bag with some navy blue jute twine. Really fun. And so this is kind of the creative thing where if I saw that in a store, I probably wouldn't pick it up necessarily. I'd be drawn to bright, shiny, colorful things. Um, but this is great for adding texture and layering, add to tags um, and things like that. So I love that she kind of includes products that you may just pass up if you were to see in the store. So there's that. This I'm super excited about. So the other night after I sent in my style profile, I was laying there thinking, dang it, I really wish I had mentioned that I wanted to try some more sequins or things like that, um, some more dimensional pieces. Um, and so when I think sequins, and I think a lot of us think, think sequins, we think card making. If you watch card makers on YouTube, a lot of them use different sequin mixes for shaker cards and elements on their cards and things like that. But I've really had fun kind of exploring with making shaker pockets for my... Bible journaling and other projects and just using them as embellishments. So I love that she included this. This is the summer playground mix from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I've never heard of that company, but you get a pretty good amount of sequins. And these sequins are so cool. So they've got some traditional shaped sequins, but then there are some flatter ones, some little swirly ones, some little flowers. So a whole mix of different styles and the colors are perfect for documenting photos from the color run. So this is exactly the colors that my sister and I dressed up in for the color run. So that is perfect. I cannot wait to use these and create maybe a fun um, shaker pocket element in my traveler's notebook or something like that. So super cool. You also get, I got a sheet of paper stickers from Freckled Fawn. These are the pie graph stickers. These will be fun for kind of documenting as part of my journaling for a picture, I think. And so you've got a variety of those, some arrows, some hearts, really fun stickers there. And you can kind of see the color scheme that she has picked out. So it's the mints, the light blue, pink, navy, and yellow kind of seem to be the consistent colors throughout this kit. We've got the thickers from the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection. And like she mentioned, she included some Maggie Holmes. I have nothing of the new Willow Lane collection, so I'm really excited that she sent some of that because I've been eyeballing it. So this font is super adorable and whimsical. I love that. And I have always need some more <laughs> thickers in my life, so that is perfect. There are some enamel dots from Echo Park, and these are actually from the Just Married collection. So these will be great. Um, that navy blue was a color that was in my stepsister's wedding, and then my sister and I actually wore like pinks and navies and things like that. So these will be perfect for documenting those photos. Love that. 
And then this is super fun. I love that she included this. It just goes to show you she must um, be familiar with some of my projects and things that I've done because I do really love using stencils, but stencils can be either hard to find good ones, they can be kind of pricey, and so I make a lot of my own stencils, um, but these are from Vicki Booten. So these are the Vicki Booten mixed media stencils. And these are awesome because they are punched to fit in a mini three ring binder. So you can store all your stencils in there and they are flexible enough to use in Bible journaling, like forming to the page, but then thick enough that they are like a good quality still. So there's this one here with the hearts. Love that. This one will be perfect for Bible journaling. You've got the little crosses and some speckles, some paint swatches. Really, really fun pieces there. And then this one here is awesome. So you've got these kind of rings, like liquid rings and splatters. So I am excited to use those to kind of create my own backgrounds. I haven't done a whole lot of mixed media in my traveler's notebook. And so I definitely want to kind of play around with that. Um, and I love that she included things that I could use for both Bible journaling and traveler's notebook documenting, since that's something I do, you know, for both of those. So there is that. And then here are all the fun papers. This is always kind of exciting because I'm not really familiar with a lot of the companies. Um, I don't buy a lot of pattern papers just because it can be kind of overwhelming. Um, and none of my stores carry um, these brands and things like that local to me. So these are always kind of fun for me to go through. So she included six sheets of the six by eight papers from the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection. And here is her nod to the unicorns. I am obsessed. So this paper has this whimsical unicorn and then this pink paper has these little unicorns and foxes. So it's not an obvious in your face rainbow bright unicorn. It's just this really fun little head nod to unicorns. Awesome, awesome. I love that she does that. So it has a little bit more of a grown up theme to it, even though we were dressed like unicorns. So <laughs> those pictures will be coming to my channel very soon. And then here are some other papers. This floral is super beautiful. I just love Maggie Holmes um, collections. They're just so pretty. This one would be fun to kind of cut out and layer the strips behind photos. And the six by eight is perfect for working in my traveler's notebook, which I have somewhere here. So I can use these, um, you know, to cover up a page and I'm not working with, you know, a whole 12 by 12 sheet. And then you've got this one here that's got this fun kind of fringe effect there. And so even the branding strips are super pretty. So there are those. And then here are the, let's look at this one here. So this is the, this white piece here is the cut file. So if you order the deluxe kit, you get the monthly cut file cut out for you in 12 by 12. And you also have access to the cut file um, online, which I'll have linked down below all that information for you guys. And so then you can cut it whatever size you want or cut it however many times you want. Um, if you order the petite kit, you don't get the cut file already cut for you, but you do get access to the cut file. And so you can use that cut file in your Cricut your silhouette, you know, whatever cutting machine that you have and kind of play around with it that way. Um, I thought, you know, I don't scrapbook in 12 by 12, but this would be nice to use as like a stencil um, and maybe do some distress ink or something like that through it. Or this particular stencil would be easy to cut down to fit into my traveler's notebook, or I can just size it down and recut it on my silhouette if I wanted to. So you do get that. Um, let's see here. And then I did say that I didn't, you know, surprise me about card, you know, cardstock. I didn't care either way. So she sent two sheets of textured cardstock in this kind of navy color and this blush pink color. So I could use these to die cut out of or use them as just a background or layering pieces. But it's kind of nice to have the cardstock, or I could use these to cut the cut files from um, and use them that way. So I have those two sheets of cardstock. And then let's dive into the paper. So this is the Simple Stories Good Vibes collection. And this is the You Got This paper. This one is so fun. So it's this polka dot and in the polka dot is, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. It looks like dictionary print and graph paper and lined paper. So this will be perfect for documenting my boys first day of school um, and you know not 
an obvious like pencils and school books and things like that, but this will be a fun little nod to first day of school. And then the back side is this um, print with all of these arrows and feathers. So you've got that boho theme. So she covered both in just one paper. <laughs> and if you were not, if you didn't watch my last video, what I like to do is I actually cut down all of my papers ahead of time. Um, let me see here. I've got it right here. Um, I cut down all of my papers, the 12 by 12s, into um, pieces that will fit in my traveler's notebook right away. And then I just store them all together and it's easier for me to work with them that way than to keep them in the 12 by 12. So again, that's a simple stories paper. This is the Heidi Swap Hawthorne collection. This is Paper Eden, really pretty magenta. This will be great for my stepsister's wedding. Um, this color was kind of in some of the stuff that she had there, and it's this really fun, like brushed texture. I've never worked with any Heidi Swap products, so that's kind of fun. And then this side is this really bright magenta polka dot, which would work great with the color run, also. So love that. And then we've got that branding strip with that magenta uh, texture. This one here is a simple stories paper from the Good Vibes collection. This is the three by four elements page. So you've got all of these that you can cut out um, and use in your layouts, use them in your pocket. Um, what is it? Project Life <laughs> pockets. And you've got that polka dot paper again, the yes please, hello today, your vibe, your tribe, the fun little journaling spot, let your light shine. So again, pieces I can use for back to school and for wedding photos. And then this side is this really pretty uh, rainbow polka dot, which would be great for the color run photos. So she just nailed it. I was kind of interested to see how she was going to manage kind of the earthy tones of the boho with the bright color run. Like she just nailed it. So this is super pretty. Love that. Um, this paper here, I believe, is from Chamel. This is the Box of Crayons collection, and this is a new thought. So this one is very bright. I don't know that I will necessarily use this side. Um, I don't do a whole lot of, um, like, what are they, primary colors, like the bright yellows. Um, might be a little much for me, but this side of the page is perfect. So this is teal with the blue. Um, this may work for layering photos and things like that. Um, or the color run was very bright, <laughs> um, but this one, and then you've got this fun kind of striped branding strip. So love that. And I wasn't really familiar with any products from Chamel before. Um, so that's kind of nice to see and not something that I already have. This is from Simple Stories and their Good Vibes collection. Again, this is the Be Amazing paper. So I could cut this and use this as a background in my traveler's notebook. I could fussy cut out these flowers. I love the like wood grain texture in the background, super cute. And then this side is like an iCat style um, pattern there. So work great for that boho um, feel of the wedding. Love that. And then this last paper here is from Pink Paisley. Um, this is the Pick Me Up collection, paper number 13. I had some Pick Me Up last month and I really, really enjoyed um, their papers last month. So this sheet here has all these different banners and tags and things that you can cut out. And you've got, um, oh, so much fun, girl, you got this. Dream Wild, so fun. So these can work for any of the photos that I will be documenting this month. So you can fussy cut those out and this would be a great time to bring in that jute twine and use it at the top of these tags. And the back side of the paper is this really pretty kind of teal and blue um, leaf print. And then you've got this branding strip down here that you can use. So there is a look at everything that comes. Again, this is the deluxe kit, so lots and lots of goodies. I think Allison did an amazing job meeting, you know, the requirements that I had in my style profile. She did such a good job, better than I could have ever done. Um, and I probably would have went to the store and spent hundreds of dollars buying products to document all those different types of photos. And instead, I have a kit that, you know, is about $38.95 and I can document a whole month's worth of photos and then some. So love, love, love that. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to the wild hair kits and any videos that I mentioned. 
and check those out. Give this video a thumbs up if you are excited to see what I have coming up over the next month as I document those photos. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Be sure to click on that bell notification button so you don't miss any future videos that I have coming out. Um, and until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.